Shalom Kharim. It's nice to see everyone again today. Well, I say see you, but you know, I guess I really can't see you guys. Uh, anyway, want to really just real quick talk to you about expanding the ministry. I, I feel pressed in my heart that God would like for me to do this full time, but you know, the only way I can know for sure he's involved in it is if the people become more involved in this as well. And I want to thank all of you that have been so kind to contribute to help the book get published. Uh, we have nearly met that goal. We have a little bit of extra cost, not much, but just a little bit still left that we're going to have to cover there. So one way or the other, I know God will provide for that. But I want to talk to you guys more seriously about taking the ministry to where we can do this more on a full-time basis. I feel strongly in my heart that God is wanting to reach the Jewish people, and I know there's many ministries that try to do this already, and so I'm not looking at this as a competition, but it is something that is, it's my own people. They are my kindred, and uh, I do have a passion for that. I, I realize God will send the two witnesses, there's no doubt about that, and yet there's many of you that watch these videos that are constantly telling me, you know, Steve, I feel like that God is going to use your ministry in some way that's going to impact uh, the Jewish people recognizing that Jesus Christ is indeed Messiah. And that may be very well so, um, but I, I don't know how. I don't know what God's intention is. I know that um, I feel strongly in my heart that I'd like to return home. Uh, I used to live in Jerusalem. I've lived in Tel Aviv. But I feel a passion to want to go back home and talk to my people, which would be a, a major endeavor to do. Um, I, I feel that in my heart, but I'm not sure when either. I, I just know that I feel this in my heart to do so. And, but in order for us to do this full time, we would need the support of the people to do that. And many of you have been so kind to already support the book that we have that's coming out. Uh, we should have it in print here sometime in November and we've had probably a dozen or so people that have contributed that we would like to take and send you a copy of this book as soon as it's out so we've collected all of your information that we could to be able to send that to you um, but i want to um, i want to just share with you this here when when we look at jesus speaking about you must be born again and he talks about how that a man is born of a woman and yet he has to be born again because the natural birth is is just a natural birth there's no life there without a rebirth in order to have the Holy Spirit come inside of you so that's what the new birth is and many of you know that as Christians you know that the Jewish people it's something kind of foreign to us but it's still it's, it's truth we have to have life now I say foreign the Jewish people know we need the Shekinah glory living inside of us or the Holy Spirit as the Christians would call that and so this is true. Israel, by the way, has been born. They were born in 1946 as a nation. And see, God always deals with Israel as a nation, not as an individual. He deals with them as a nation. And in 1940, excuse me, 1948, the United Nations recognized them. Let me say it like that, not 1946. But 40 years before that, uh, back, uh, not quite 40 years, roughly about that time, when Allenby came in and took Jerusalem, uh, it was just like when Israel left uh, when they were scattered, Jesus preached. Forty years later, the temple was destroyed and they were scattered to all the earth. Now they've been regathered. They slowly begin to come back in. Mussolini, uh, Stalin, Hitler, all these guys here, uh, their hearts were hardened, which was a great contribution in driving our people back to the homeland. Not to mention the lost tribes of Israel and all the Christians that have been a great part, like the uh, like Ruth of the Bible, gleaning in the four corners of the field. You've been a great part in bringing back from the four corners of the earth the lost tribes of Israel to our homeland. But we have to have a rebirth. If Jesus said you must be born again, we need to be rebirthed as a nation even. And that's where we see the Bible says that in one day hast thou done this. And that's where God gives them the Holy Spirit. This is speaking of the 144,000 in one day that new birth will take place with Israel. So in order to, be, to, to bring the gospel of Christ to them, we have to reach out to them in a way that, is, that, that, that God is intending to do this. Uh, I'm a firm believer in the two witnesses will be the ones that actually bring about that revival 
Why God is pressing this in my heart, though, I have no idea. Is there a gap? Is there a, a, a carryover place? Like Paul, carry was a carryover over the gospel from the Jew to the Gentile. I don't know, but I know that God wants us to do something here, and I'm trying desperately to find out what that is. So I'm asking you if you would like to become, um, uh, we see it on TV a lot with the, with the Christian people that are on TV, they say a monthly partner, to where we can do this full time. And to where, because uh, I'm looking right now to going full time into to, to the regular labor force, which I work right now probably about 30, 40 hours a week to be able to still have the time where I can spend to put together the way God leads me in my heart for my people to understand, as well as I know it's a blessing to many Christians. And those of you that don't know, there's many Jews that watch these videos, many Jews. Uh, I get letters from them all the time, so it is having an impact, and we're seeing that. And we only have like a little over 500 subscribers. So we're wanting to also market to where the more people can hear what's going on out here. Uh, and what's, you know, to where more of the people will know. Uh, but then also I feel strongly in my heart to want to reach out and take this to the Jewish people. It's, I don't know. I realize that we have Jews all over the world that have not gone back to the homeland. And I'm a firm believer if they're not in the homeland, they're not going to be part of that 144,000. So maybe that's how the ministry is. Maybe we're reaching out to the Jews around the world that need to hear the gospel of Christ because that's their only hope. And so I'm asking you, we, we want to, to, to be a part of this with us. We'll start, we want to start putting together where we're doing the videos weekly, where we do a monthly newsletter and stuff for you as well. And when I say a partner with this, please don't even think for a moment, small gifts is all it takes. You know, you take for example, uh, for us to, we, we have an office dedicated to this. Uh, we, you know, we have the equipment like everybody else would have to be able to film, et cetera. We do high definition. We don't normally put it on YouTube that way. We don't, we don't need a television ministry. YouTube has been, the greatest blessing to put it worldwide. We have people all over the world that watch these videos. Uh, thanks to the way God allowed YouTube to be able to reach out to the people like that. But you can, even if it was only $10 a month, for example, you take a thousand people that were to contribute like that alone, that would cover the cost that we have, plus allow me to be able to dedicate my life full time to this. Uh, we have a website, IsraelReturns.com, where we have a donation button where you could give there. You can send it in by mail. Those of you that contributed to help us get the book out, uh, we'll be sending out this, this hopefully by this weekend. Thank you letters. I apologize that we haven't sent it out sooner, but there again, that's because we're not able to do this full time. So it's taking the time, you know, between family and, and my wife. My, our, we have two small children. Uh, and so... Taking the time to work between that is pretty difficult. So we have to keep juggling time. And we want to try to get this to where we're dedicated full time, praying constantly what to do, and yet also bringing forth videos for you. Um, we would like to try to do them weekly. There's a lot of things that God deals with me uh, on constantly that I would like to put in, maybe even in shorter video format. Uh, but the only way we can do it is if you decide to become a partner with us on that. If you would like that, you can email us at israelreturns at aol.com, where you can email us directly to let us know if you, you would like to be a part of this. And, uh, and, and at the same time, share this video with, with your friends. Share the ministry, not so much just this video. Share the ministry itself with everyone you know, because the more we do that, the more we will find out if God is in this. I believe if God is in it, he will bless it. Um, and there again, like I said, about the $10 a month, if there was a thousand people that did that, I know you guys have your own churches. Many of you do. You, you, you support that, and I thank God for it. And I don't want to take away from anything that you're doing. But if you want to be any type of member, I don't even care if it's a dollar a month. You know, you'd be surprised what every little bit helps. And we put everything right back into the ministry that we can. Uh, so... Pray about it. See how God leads you. And we certainly thank you. And God bless you. And we'll see what God would have us to do for our people.